the big bank merger of Aditya Billa Nuvo and Krasim that was recently approved by the shareholders. In fact, it was approved today. Ashwin Mohan joining us with that story. Uh, Ashwin, the shareholder response, how do they stand to benefit from the result in Behemoth? So, Nantara, it's definitely a bear because the merged entity Grasim will have a consolidated turnover of almost around 60,000 crore rupees with an EBITDA close to 11,000 crore rupees. There were uh, three specific shareholder meetings that were held earlier of AB Nuvo, of Grasim and Aditya Birla Financial Services. And uh, what we understand is that uh, the merger plans as well as the uh, demerger and the subsequent listing of Aditya Birla Financial Services were approved with an overwhelming majority by the shareholders. And remember, once this deal had in fact hit the street, there was a lot of speculation regarding uh, the rationale behind this merger. Uh, there was a lot of criticism regarding whether it was being done to fund idea. But clearly this is, the shareholders seem to have given it a nod with a big, big majority. That's the word coming in officially uh, from the Birla group. Now as far as the benefits of uh, this particular merger are concerned, what we understand is that uh, the shareholders are definitely likely to benefit uh, from the strong balance sheet of Grasim and of course the big growth potential of Aditya Birla Financial Services. That is going to be one of the major players in the financial services space as and when it gets listed. And of course the merged entity will be quite a diversified entity with leadership positions in sectors ranging from cement to telecom and you know also uh, sectors like uh, chemicals. And plus uh, the Birla group is of the opinion that the financial services business will grow strongly under the strong parentage of Grasim. So that seems to be the manner in which uh, the shareholders will uh, benefit. Uh, this is basically representing a big, big uh, procedural approval that has finally come in from the shareholders. And of course, now the only approvals that need to come in are from the NCLT uh, and SEBI. And we're also given to understand that the merger is likely to become effective from Q2 of the current financial year. So that's the latest word coming in. The Big Bang Birla merger has got a majority nod from all the respective shareholders.